Hello, and welcome to Basic E-Bike Rider Safety, what you need to know. More and more people are choosing to go by e-bike. Here are a few important things to keep in mind for a safer ride. People on e-bikes have the same rights and responsibilities on the road as people in cars and on other bikes. This means that you and all road users are safest when following the rules of the road. Obey stop signs and stoplights, ride with the flow of traffic, obey speed limits, signal your turns and lane changes, pass on the left. Like any person biking, as an e-bike rider, you have the option to ride in the bike lane or on the roadway. Thanks to the speed provided by your e-assist, you may prefer to ride with the flow of traffic in the roadway, especially in urban areas. Sidewalks are rarely a good place to ride an e-bike, and in many places, it is illegal. Predictability is a key component for safer e-bike riding. Whether you are turning or changing lanes, it is important to make other road users aware of your anticipated change of direction. Before changing lanes, look behind you to ensure it is clear. Signal your change of direction, look behind you again, and when your intended lane is clear, move over while maintaining your speed. Making eye contact with other road users is a great way to confirm that they see both you and your intention to change lanes. When there is a travel lane that serves multiple directions, use the part of the lane that serves your destination. If traveling straight through an intersection, position yourself in the center part of the lane. If turning left, position yourself in the leftmost to middle part of the lane. If turning right, position yourself in the rightmost to middle part of the lane. Many e-bikes come equipped with a front white light and a rear red light that are integrated with the battery. Be sure they work, especially when riding at dusk, nighttime, or inclement weather. Lights are essential to being seen by other road users. Reflective gear on your e-bike or on your body at night allows you to be more easily seen by other road users. Your positioning on the roadway is another way to be predictable and seen. In the absence of safe bike infrastructure or when traveling close to or at the speed of traffic, the safer place to position yourself is in the middle of the lane. Do not weave in and out of parked cars. Do not ride in the gutter or close to the curb. Remember to ride outside of the door zone, the five foot wide area next to a parked car that a door will open into. We talk more about the door zone in collision awareness. Do not closely follow large vehicles such as trucks and buses. If you cannot see a large vehicle's side mirrors, they cannot see you. And it could affect other motorists seeing you as well. One of the benefits of having an e-bike is the potential to have a little boost when starting from a standstill. Even with a slight boost, it is good practice to always start from the pedal power position. To start, straddle the bike. Place one foot on the pedal in a higher part of the pedal stroke. With both hands on the handlebars, push yourself forward with the other foot that's on the ground. In the same motion, shift your weight onto the foot resting on the pedal and begin your pedal stroke. E-bikes can be heavy, which means it may take you slightly longer to stop than on a non-electric assist bike. Riding conditions such as rain or snow may also increase stopping time. Plan ahead. Before stopping, it's good practice to shift into an easier gear so it will be easier to start again. As you stop pedaling, apply pressure to both brake levers equally. Typically, the right lever activates the rear brake and the left lever activates the front brake. Use both levers when stopping. Using only the front brake may send you over the handlebars. Regular brake maintenance is particularly important on e-bikes since they are heavier and require more braking power to stop. There are a lot of different types of e-bikes. See our video on what is an e-bike with varying modes of electric assistance. Whatever your e-bike offers, it is important for you as the user to become familiar with how your gears and modes of assistance work prior to riding on the road or the trail. 
Find a place away from traffic to practice shifting and e-assist modes while getting comfortable with the balance, weight, and speed of your e-bike. An empty parking lot works great. There are some general tips when shifting on an e-bike and exploring your assist modes. Start in the lightest assist mode, eco mode, when first riding your e-bike. Go up in mode as you become comfortable with the acceleration and speed of the assist mode. Engaging the e-assist through the throttle provides a slight thrust forward. Be ready. Practice shifting so that you are able to smoothly shift between gears. Typically, when traveling uphill, you'll want to shift to an easier gear. When traveling downhill, you'll want to shift to a slightly harder gear. Enjoy riding your e-bike and the many new places it will take you.